Hello, this is TTT speaking. Welcome to the 095 update of the Nimitz. This update you've just seen uh, contains new air defense assets like the Phalanx system, which we sourced from ZG Trader from a guy called Muhammad. And um, we have uh, a whole lot of other um, updates available in this build of the Nimitz. The update has a focus on ambience and peripheral, peripheral objects, uh, but we had to postpone the functions um, update of the SQF functions that control the carrier. So I um, expect a lot of ambience things in this video and in the update and not so much uh, core functionality that has changed at all. We're very happy to have this here aboard now. This is the new nautical bridge built by Joey. That's very nice. Well, I like it a lot. Um, I hope you like it too. It gives um, a whole new meaning standing here on top of the carrier and looking down and what's going on in the world. Oh, well, you see some things are upside down. Sorry for that. Um, it's um, as always a little bit uh, a work in progress as well, but uh, we're getting there slowly but surely. So for the air defenses, which you can see all around the Nimitz, we have um, we had a lot of help from different people. We sourced the phalanx and the and the rim system from CG Trader. But our old uh, and trusted friend, uh, the snake, did create this wonderful Magnet 29 Z Sparrow from a template created by um, JDoc back in the day. And uh, they are all fully functional and um, yeah, hopefully uh, they work for you too. Um, it doesn't work very well when you have a dozen or so planes coming in on the limits and the air defenses get um, surely overwhelmed but if you use your own carrier air wing to some effect then you will be able to defend an air assault with the Nimitz now more easily I would think so. Speaking of all of the ambience objects you see we have a new medical facility which is here uh, suspended in thin air so uh, <laughs> it's just a showcase on the elevator on the back of the carrier and um, we have some bunk beds available. We have an openable locker here from Odysseus. Or the locker was done by Joey, but this is the personal locker of Odysseus. You can open it and uh, eventually you should be able to look in your inventory. You can put things inside of the locker and uh, yeah, this should all work. Then we have some new briefing equipment for the briefing room. The old chairs have been uh, removed and these chairs are ACE compatible. So uh, if you use ACE X or ACE X, I'd rather say, then you will be able to sit on these chairs. It doesn't look perfect because of the table um, here on the chair, but it's a step forward. There's also a screen with a variable texture that you can change to your liking. And I'm very happy that Odysseus finally found the time to... <coughs> I'm sorry, I got a bit of a cold. That Odysseus found the time to texture the remainder of the Hangar 3 and 4. And that's... Um, quite a nice job and we have a new stairway up to the entrance level when we come from the bridge. Yeah, that's it in all briefness um, for this update. I would really uh, also oh, point out some to something which I almost forgot. We have this beautiful thing aboard, a Tilly crane, thanks to Megadev. And uh, it's a static object right now, sorry for that, but uh, time didn't permit to make it drivable. And it can remove wrecks in the vicinity of the aircraft carrier. It's quite an impressive piece of, um, of uh, machinery, I think. 
Unfortunately, it has no shadow uh, lot right now because the shadow lot gave us some problems. So if you're an expert in shadow lots, um, please contact us. We need your help here. <laughs> okay, that's it from me. Over and out. Uh, hope you enjoy the 095 update and um, see you around. Bye bye.